Hello, it's class. Hello, everyone. Welcome to May's 2023 First Cash Stuffing. So let's go ahead and start off with our life insurance, which gets $50. So we already have 234 and we'll be adding $50 to that, which brings us a total to 284. It is about time for me to go ahead and pay on that this month, but I wanna go ahead and have a little extra padding in there. I pay my life insurance quarterly. Okay, so let's go ahead and mark through that. The next one is our regular insurance. So let's go back right here, our little health insurance copay account. And that is going to get $21. And right now it already has a total of 42. We're going to add 21 to that, and that will give us a total of 63. Two, four, six, one, two, and three. Add 21 to that. Okay. Let's go ahead and mark through. Emergency's not getting anything. Skip emergency. Let's go over to travel. Travel gets a hundred dollars. So let's see, in travel, we already got a solid 100. We're just adding another 100 to that. So 1, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. And you'd be surprised how quickly your money adds up. It doesn't matter how small. You can add $5 every time you get paid, okay? But just put something aside because you never know. That snowball, it also gets nothing. Why? Because I done already made a payment of $1,500. So we're almost finished. Um, I did keep the cash already in here. So let's see what's left in here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, and another 50 makes 100. Okay, let me um, situate these bills real quick, y'all. So, like I said, I just paid, I think I want to say about $1,500 or so. I know it was over 1000 And I'm just going to keep this in here in case there's a few, you know, 100 or so dollars left on the balance. I can just do that. If not, I can use it for something else. All right. So, good deal. Let's just mark through these. Emergency gets nothing. That snowball gets nothing. Bug out. Okay. So, um, this is an envelope that I created last summer in a emergency where I have to leave my home or area immediately. Um, this is something that I created. If you have a bug out bag, meaning um, a toiletry bag, maybe that you keep in your car, or maybe that you keep at work just something if you got to grab and go this is what this is for so let's see what i have in here those 
Mother Nature situations, tornadic events. You got to leave your house, um, evacuate immediately. But um, you just need to just maybe go to the gas station. Maybe you need to get some water, uh, something like that. Get yourself out of a sticky situation. This is what bug out is for. So we got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we're going to add 30 to that. This isn't anything that um, <clears throat> I use as an expense tracker. This is just, hey, I need this. Let me make sure I got it type situation. Okay, so we're going to use some of these fives. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25 and 30. Again, when it comes to emergency situations, people may not have change. They may not want to give you change. So small bills may work in your favor. So we'll just set that aside. Okay, so it looks like we're finished with our sinking funds binder. Some people call this a sinking funds binder. I just call it a binder, okay? I do sell these at the local farmer's market here in Morgan County, Alabama. Come to my table. Okay, our next level binder. Lavender and black, okay. So let's take a look at SHTF 16. That's going to get $20. Um, this one does not have a tracker card in it either. That's okay for me. So that's going to get 20. So I got a lot of fives here. 5, 10, 15, and 20. 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Okay. So we have $40 in this one. Do that. Okay. Next, let's go to our money market. Money market gets that odd number, $33. Okay, so right now we already have a total of $33 in it. I just paid a pest control. This is another property in another area. Um, I'm responsible for the pest control. I don't like stuff that critters, okay? They belong outside. But anything we get, we must be able to maintain. To whom much is given, much is required. So, um, I'm not really sure how much I got in there at the moment. We'll have to go back, take another look at that. But um, today I am putting $33. So on here, then it's 66. There's probably um, more in the actual money market account. I'm sure of that. Let's see. So we'll get 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 29. 30, 31, 32, 33. So some people say, well, Miss Terry, what are you gonna do with all those $1 bills? What are you gonna do with all those $5 bills? I'm going to save them, invest them, or cash them out. Okay. And you got all them bills. And you need all them bills. One of my um, neighborhood buddies, she's a still a very good and dear friend of mine. We would go to church together, and I would always have a bunch of coins, and they would make so much noise, and 
She would laugh and make fun of me, but hey, I still get those coins, honey. So money market, we just added $33 to it. Okay, vacation. Vacation gets a solid $100. 100 100 Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to wait because I got to do the new home. So I'm going to give the new home a solid 100. And I'm going to give this vacation some bills. Okay, so we got 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay. So I just did a uh, bill exchange this past weekend. As many of you know, I'm a vendor at the farmer's market. So it is important as a vendor that I have change for people. So a lot of times I'm just able to, um, I don't even have to go to the bank at this point, Chad. I cash myself out. I cash you out. Whatever you need, Chad. No. But, you know, do what I can. I do what I can. So vacation, that got $100. So right now... Um, we have 225. We're adding a hundred to that, so that should be now 325. Okay, let's count that 150, 70, 90, 10, 30, 50, 70, 75. 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 325, y'all. So it's good um, not to have to worry about where is this money going to come from? I want to take a vacation. Oh my goodness, you know, I'm barely scraping by. Um, this is a good way for you not to have to take money out of your regular bill money. And ladies, it's important that we have our own money. Young men, it's important that you have your own money. Okay, because you never know when someone is going to need your help and you need to be able to be financially responsible on your own. Okay, young and old people. Okay, last but not least, we have new home. We're going to have some money left over, which I did plan it like that. Okay, so... Right now we have 300. Let's just add a $100 bill. You don't always have to use all of your cash. Okay, find another place to put it. Um hold on to it until um you know something comes up and again, you don't have to go through these taking out money and the idea is to keep it in here, okay? And not be spending it on things that it is not marked for. If you find yourself doing that, well, then you need to make yourself another envelope or I can make yourself another envelope, okay? And so that way you're not feeling guilty. you feeling like, hey, I'm not reaching my goal. So we got one, two, three, 350, 400, okay? So some stuff like um, the new home, I like to have larger bills. I 
All right. So that ends the cash stuffing of the binders. So it looks like, let's see how much we got left over. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ooh, a bunch of fives. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So I have $46 left over. Okay. And again, budgets do change. Okay. So we... Y'all got to use this little calculator. My larger calculator is on its last leg. So I'm going to have to invest in me another calculator. So today we stuffed $454. Okay, let's count this one more again just to make sure, honey. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46. Okay. Trust but verify. All right. In the business world. So I have a little place. Um, I've been putting it in here. One of my family members gave this to me for Christmas. And I already got some cash in here. Look at that. So what we do, we just add that on. Okay, so that's a total of 56. You never know, okay? It's always good to hide you some cash somewhere in a purse, in a wallet. But, you know, always be accountable for it. Know where every dollar is. Okay. You don't have to spend it all. You don't have to save it all. You know, everybody has different financial goals and needs. Okay. Sometimes I just like to keep a little extra cash in one of my cute purses. And um, somebody call and say, hey, girl, let's go on down to Myrtle Beach. Okay, girl, I'm ready. And I bring my cute little purse. And lo and behold, I've been putting money in there for six months. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, you see something that you have been thinking about and you have been sacrificing and lo and behold, the Lord may bless you with something wonderful and you have the cash to buy it without feeling guilty. All right, y'all, I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.